The episode begins with Spider-Man calling out to his friends as they get attacked by an unknown creature. Iron Fist tells him to chill the hell out so that they can strategize. All of a sudden, Iron Fist gets attacked, leaving Spider-Man with Nova. At this point, Nova starts shooting out beams in random directions, claiming how something so big can move so fast. Before he can register it, he is grabbed and dragged out of sight. Left all alone, Spider-Man then notices his friends White Tiger and Power Man tied up to a post. He is about to go rescue his friends when he realizes that he might be walking into a trap. Before he can come up with another plan, he gets tackled by Captain America, who tells him that he walked right into his trap. Captain America introduces himself to all of the younger superheroes as they beg him to train them again, in awe of his experience. On the other side of the glass, director Nick Fury and his longtime partner, Phil Coulson, watch the training session. Coulson tells director Fury that the training session is not on Captain America's agenda. However, director Fury thinks that he is having a good time, but leaves the decision to stop the training session up to Coulson since he's worried about the young superheroes embarrassing S.H.I.E.L.D. in front of Captain America. Since Coulson was a big fan of Captain America, he was scared of getting his reputation ruined by them. When he tells Captain America that he needs to wrap this shit up, Cap responds by saying that the kids want to go for another round. Once again, the arena is prepped and the young superheroes go up against Captain America. He proposes that whoever manages to take him down will get to keep his shield. As soon as he hears this, Spider-Man begins daydreaming about what he would do with the shield, and imagines summoning Avengers whenever he pleases. Nova begins to daydream about selling the shield on the internet for thousands of dollars. Power Man goes in to attack him first, but Capt easily blocks his attack. He tells them that they rely on their powers that make their attacks predictable, and that they should see their powers as one tool in their toolbox. White Tiger and Iron Fist attack Cap next, but he picks them up and throws them in the corner, and claims that they need to mix their attacks with other skills to throw their opponent off. When Spider-Man hears this, he becomes arrogant and thinks that he has a better chance of defeating Captain America than the rest of his friends. He blindly starts shooting out webs at him but misses the target, instead pinning Power Man to the wall with his webs. Luckily, he manages to shoot out a web that lands on Cap's arm, but before he can use it to his advantage, Captain America pulls at the web and swings Spider-Man before throwing him at his friends. Not deterred, Spider-Man stands up again and goes in to attack, only to find that his gloves are missing. Cap reveals that this was something he picked up while growing up in Brooklyn. Not long after that, the battle ends, since none of the young superheroes are able to take Cap down. As expected, they are no match for his strength and experience. Captain America tells them that they need to see their powers as tools and not rely on them for everything. The training session ends soon, and Coulson pulls Captain America away for a meeting. But before he leaves, Cap leaves his shield behind telling the superheroes that they can touch it but cannot throw it since it is a weapon and not a toy. As soon as he leaves, everyone becomes intrigued and Nova picks up the shield. Seeing how light it is, Nova wants to throw it, but Spider-Man grabs it from him and reminds him that Cap asked them not to touch it. However, he gets too excited and throws the shield against his better judgment. To his surprise, the shield flies out of the window and Spider-Man rushes to grab it. Knowing that he needs to get the shield back before Cap's meeting ends, Spider-Man jumps out of the window and uses his spider webs to help him fly after it. The shield continues to fly and hits Iron Man who was flying by. It zooms past a woman who Spider-Man saves from getting hit, but the shield continues to fly past them before landing inside the Latvarian Embassy. The shield is picked up by Doctor Doom, and as soon as Spider-Man sees where the shield has landed, he realizes that he might be in trouble. He thinks of calling Nick Fury for help, but rethinks his plan when he imagines the director killing him. 
he decides to sneak into the embassy and begins to climb over the wall. At that moment, Doctor Doom appears in the embassy's window and asks him if the shield belongs to him. At first, Spider-Man tries to talk his way out of the situation and claims that the shield is fake, but digs the hole deeper for himself when he continues talking nervously. Doctor Doom watches him closely and then tells him to wait and disappears inside the building just as Spider-Man's spidey senses start tingling. He thinks that this is the end of his troubles, and that all he needed to do was ask the shield back in a polite way. All of a sudden, a missile flies out of the window and starts chasing him. No matter what he does, and where he goes, the missile continues to follow him. He manages to dodge it, but just when he is about to get hit, Captain America appears before him on his bike and saves the day. He confesses that he lost the shield, but Cap tells him that they will get it back and sneak inside the embassy. Captain America tells him that the shield is made from a special kind of vibranium alloy, and if Doctor Doom manages to reverse engineer it, he might use it to make something indestructible, making him unstoppable. As they are sneaking inside, Doctor Doom's security system spots them and starts shooting out a laser. They manage to dodge the attacks and make their way inside only to find Doom Dogs waiting for them. The two of them begin fighting them, only to find that there are more waiting for them. Cap tells Spider-Man that Doctor Doom is using them as a distraction because he wants to buy time. He tells Spider-Man to web the dogs to the floor just as more Doom bots appear behind them. They abandon the fight and rush to find Doctor Doom, who is running scans on the shield. Cap orders Spider-Man to continue running but he questions whether they should act and destroy the Doombots. Capt tells him to know where the real fight is as he makes his way to Doctor Doom's lair. When they reach Doctor Doom's lair, they are surprised to find that the shield is missing. Captain America goes through Doctor Doom's computer and finds that he was using the embassy as a base of operations for an invasion. He then deactivates the Doombots following them and tells Spider-Man that Doctor Doom is on the roof. They quickly get to the roof and notice Doctor Doom getting in his aircraft, preparing to leave. He then unleashes more Doom Dogs on the two of them. Capt starts attacking the dogs, trying to get to Doctor Doom in time, but Spider-Man reminds Capt of his own lesson about knowing the fight, and instead of fighting the dogs, he uses his web to cling to the aircraft, dragging Capt along with him. As soon as Doctor Doom spots them, he starts attacking them with a laser, but Spider-Man once again uses his web to manipulate the lever and crashes the aircraft. Just before they crash, Doctor Doom tells Cap that the Avengers cannot arrest him since he gets protection from the Latvian Embassy. However, Cap reminds him that he gets protection on U.S. soil and that they are currently in U.S. airspace. When Captain America asks for his shield back, Doctor Doom tells him that he was stupid to give his shield to an idiotic and careless boy, and prepares to attack them again. However, before he can do anything, Spider-Man reveals that they were just buying time just as an army of officers surrounds him and arrests him for conspiring. Doctor Doom confidently tells them that this is not the end, as his friends at the embassy will release him in a few hours so that he can go back to planning the attack. Captain America and Spider-Man head back to base where Spider-Man begins to tell his friends about his adventures, even going as far as to ask Cap if he can be his sidekick. To his disappointment, Cap tells him that he works better alone, but assures him that he will make a fine Avenger one day. Back at the training arena, Coulson scolds the young superheroes and reminds them that they should not be touching things that are not theirs. To save the superheroes from getting another lecture, Cap interrupts Coulson by handing him his shield. Knowing that he is obsessed with Captain America, he then tells the superheroes that they will make good Avengers one day and wishes them the best of luck before leaving once again to save lives. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.